The title of today's story is The Meatball, but I like to call it Fatal Attraction. This is because the unusual fate of the meatball in question can only be attributed to its own irresistible allure. I like meatballs. Our story begins on an ordinary Tuesday evening with family dinner. Our anti-hero had a cold, but was heartened at the thought of the delectable spaghetti with meatballs and garlic bread, which his mom was preparing. Then there came the strangest turn of events, but I'll let you hear this part in his own words. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. It rolled off the table and onto the floor, and then my poor meatball rolled out the door. It rolled out the garden and under a bush, and then my poor meatball was nothing but mush. The mush was as tasty as tasty could be, and then next summer, it grew into a tree. The tree was all covered, all covered with moss, and on it grew meatballs and tomato sauce. As you can see, this story has a silver lining. Despite the seemingly tragic waste of a delicious meatball, the child was somehow blessed with an endless supply of mossy meat. As for the meatball itself, it received unprecedented long life through the retelling of its story by children on buses and around campfires for decades after. We will leave you with this final warning from the now wiser boy. If you eat spaghetti all covered with cheese, hold on to your meatball. And don't ever sneeze. The tree was all covered with beautiful moss. It grew lovely meatballs and tomato sauce. So if you eat spaghetti.